Sometimes it is one event that triggers a response, while other times it becomes a lifetime of events that condition a person to act a certain way. I've experienced both. From an early age, I understood this experience. Unknowingly, I could have had a sense of abandonment from being adopted. The elementary school I attended held me back in first grade. Doctors then tested me and prescribed Ritalin to me for approximately six years afterwards. Authorities and people within the community that my family was a part of had stigmatized me from that young age. The experience became a magnified each day this has continued throughout my life to present day. I've had the opportunity in life to willingly put myself in and around people. I have isolated myself willingly out of fear that I may be doing something wrong. In the past, I had self-medicated just to change the way I was thinking. Little could be done to me after I physically took myself out of the daily activity equation. I focused on my interests and found new interests. My personal conversation expanded as I began studying. My interest narrowed and expanded again. My conversation continues to expand. Here's another way to look at it. People who develop emotional detachment as a result of traumatic experience can have a difficult time learning how to connect with other people and give themselves permission to fully experience their feelings. Children may have a greater chance of developing attachment disorders and emotional detachment if they experience difficult circumstances early in life, such as experiencing significant loss, such as the death of a parent or separation from a caregiver, having traumatic experiences, growing up in an orphanage, experiencing emotional abuse, experiencing physical abuse. There is no way around human interaction in a lifetime. In many ways, we are all dependent on another human being. The thing that we should master is how to manage our conversation and our interactions with one another. I think going forward, I will continue to be mindful of my space in this life. A highlight towards the importance of human interaction. Emotional attachment can slowly build over time or may occur more rapidly in response to an acute situation. Though everyone is different, some signs and symptoms to watch for include inability to feel emotions or feeling empty, losing interest in enjoyable activities, becoming less involved in relationships, showing little or no empathy towards others, being harsh or unkind to others. If the emotional detachment symptoms result from trauma, your doctor may recommend psychotherapy, also known as talk therapy. This treatment can help you learn to overcome the impacts of the abuse. You may also learn new ways to process experiences and anxieties that previously upset you and led to emotional detachment. I will take the advice of my pop. Always be congenial in my interactions with people. It is difficult for me at times. I have tinnitus. Sounds, dialects, certain flows of conversation become intolerable for me to continue a conversation with or listen to. That is one of the reasons I found comfort in nightclubs. Attachment is the great fabricator of illusions. Reality can be obtained only by someone who is detached. Being in a nightclub allowed me time to think. The piercing noises stopped for a while. I saw people interacting with one another. I knew that a new relationship was a hello away. It was good, it was now, it was life. What makes people keep coming back to a hospitality establishment? This thought consumes me to this day. In this interview of DJ Carl Cox, Cox identifies music as a conduit that brought his father's friends around for a good time together. Growing up in South London, Cox had a relatively normal childhood, riding dirt bikes, kicking a football around, dropping a fishing line into whatever bodies of water Sutton had to offer school discos. But there was perhaps, perhaps a bit more music than most happy childhoods. 
His father was a consummate host. He says, quote, always play music for his friends who come around and listen to the records he really enjoyed. My mom was always supporting my dad based on the parties we had at home. It was a happy home with music as a backdrop to our life, unquote. When his father wasn't hosting a listening session, Cox would take matters into his own hands, putting on headphones and scanning the radio airwaves for the funk and soul he was falling in love with. Living life for the next celebration is a freedom of mind, body, and spirit. The nightclub forces a person to become more open-minded. A person's bodily well-being is in the hands of strangers during a nightclub experience. Are you willing to have a nightclub experience change your life? Those experiences await you. Having a room in a hotel ready to escape to is important when you make the decision to begin stepping out into the world. A hotel simplifies your life. All you must do is wait for the moment to go outside, just to be around people, or just to watch from the hotel's windows. Go sit in a space with a flow of people walking by or eating. Just watch. Gain your confidence back. You need to connect with them on a more personal and emotional level. If you really go an extra mile to show them, they are valuable to you. Their overall experience with your hotel will be more meaningful and they won't hesitate to recommend your services to their families and friends. When you are ready, introduce yourself to someone. Your next great relationship is a hello. My name is Away. You're in control of your life when you are living or staying in a penthouse. Look around, look out the window at the skyline, walk out onto the terrace to breathe in the air that you have worked hard to enjoy. Who do you want to bring into your life? I like this thought on how to bring the proper people into your life. A high quality luxury apartment is going to give you access to great things to do and see but also great people to meet. You'll find that your neighbors will enjoy utilizing all the amenities just as much as you do. So you will develop community of like-minded people to spend time with. Being around people that love to live where you live helps you feel more welcome to the community, but it also gives you the chance to make some new friends. You'll be able to use those nice amenities to hang out with your new friends as well. A win-win situation. The people you want are in the building your penthouse is in. Where are they in the city you are in? Find them and bring them into your life.